G'day folks, it's Quentin Gear. When Mike Willisy came to interview me a little while ago, I got the opportunity to sit down with my own camera and interview him. Now it's very lo-fi with only a uh, GoPro and a flip camera to use, but I got the chance to ask my own questions of someone that's been asking questions of me for the last 30 years. So sit back and enjoy. What do you think your most memorable stories are? Besides me. Well, you were the highest rating. Um, Muhammad Ali made a big impression on me. Why? Um, he just had a presence about him that sort of went beyond being a champion athlete. And for some reason, he we, we had a bit of a fight when I first met him. In fact, he threw two punches at me. Yeah, but then he said I was a racist and, and I got angry about that, so threw two punches. Um, he didn't hit me, so he just, he just scared me a little bit. Yep. <laughs> and then we became friends. Yep. And uh, it was the week before the thriller in Manila. And uh, there are a thousand or two thousand registered journos, photographers, whatever. But wherever we were, he'd pick us out and give us a break or tell us where to go that something was going to happen and it was just a good, you know, a good time with him. Yeah. Um, you've seen a lot of things change in politics and we're at quite a um, challenging time in our political history at the moment. Do you think... How do you think politics has changed over the last, say, 30 years? It's dominated now by um, opinion polls and um, surveys. and So instead of um, our political leaders giving leadership, they're, they're saying, what do the people want first? And you get mixed messages and um, they're, most of them are more concerned about winning the next election than, than giving good leadership. Do you realise that some journalists look up to you? Um, yeah, I do, yeah. And what do you think about that? Um, yeah, it's very, very flattering and, um, uh, yeah, I mean, it gives me a good feeling. What lessons do you think you'd like to impart on cadet journalists or young journalists that are just starting out in the biz? Um... Honesty and integrity. Don't beat stories up. You know, don't look for an angle that's going to get you the headline or um, if it's not genuine, if it's not really the story. Now, I heard that you might be writing an autobiography. Is yeah. that still going to happen? Oh, I, I intend to. Um, that's really how I got back into 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 this work, you know, commercial journalism on television because I started taking notes for an autobiography yeah. and thinking, gee, there were some really good times and exciting times and uh, enlightening times and, and, and it suddenly occurred to me, well, that doesn't have to stop. You know, I, I can do that again. What page do I feature on? Um, in terms of ratings, you're on page one. No, no, I mean in the book. Oh, in the book. In the book. Um, Is there going to be an entire chapter? That's what I'm... I'm asking here. Um, Maybe a one line, two? There'd be more than one or two lines. I one or two you. lines? There'd be more than that. Not a chapter. If they're small chapters, I'll promise you a chapter. That's right. <laughs> That's good. I like that. I like that.